Hey there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine with your Tuesday night update in the tropics here and we now have Hurricane Francine has been upgraded from tropical storm to hurricane category one status with maximum sustained winds at around 75 miles per hour. Hasn't moved a whole lot today. It is still just off to the east of Brownsville, Texas, just to the east of the US and Mexico border moving to the northeast at about 10 miles per hour. So on that track still heading towards the central coast of Louisiana as we head into Wednesday. Some rough stuff there, yes, but this might be more of a blessing than a curse for areas inland, and I'll show you why. As it makes its way up into the Mississippi Valley, it will weaken pretty quickly, and it will kind of stall out. It really doesn't have a steering current, doesn't have the jet stream to push it along really anywhere. And look at the drought situation here over much of the deep south and into the Ohio Valley. Desperately needed rainfall in these locations and look what happens as it moves to the north. The remnants of Francine dumping inches of rainfall over areas that are just too dry. Some of that rain moving into the Ohio Valley, but it will be a sharp cutoff to areas that also need the rainfall where the rain may not even make it to around Indianapolis and Cincinnati. But right now it does look like portions of Kentucky and Indiana will also get some of that rainfall as well. Now here locally, we're not looking at any significant threat of severe weather, but it could be a decent soaking rain moving into Kentucky as we head into Friday and Saturday. We'll certainly watch this track very closely but definitely beneficial rains on the way to combat the drought situation over much of the south and the Ohio Valley.